All right. Greetings to the global community of Tibetans. I am your pastor, Isaac Indigo Nelson, and God bless you today for giving me your time as we undertake this daily broadcast. It is a pleasure today that uh, we are meeting once again to think about the welfare of our community. If, as the welfare of the community is at our heart, we believe we will surely reach there. The community need people who will involve their spirits far, far beyond just coming in to benefit. Let the world or somebody also benefit from you. It's not all the time that you need to benefit from others. At times, you have to avail yourself for others to also benefit from you. And yes, that is the biggest blessing you could ever give to humanity. We have to understand that we all have a role to play in this community to let to make it work. And today we are going to drop this prayer or meditation bulletin as we avail ourselves in this day by day broadcasting and prayer session. And we want to deal with a topic or a bulletin with entitled "Believe You Got the Power to Change the World." Believe that you got the power to change the world. Most of times, we invest the ability to change the world in the people that have names, people that has authority, people that are great. And we think because of their names and the wealth they have, they alone can change the world. But everyone who has life in him can change the world. And that is why we don't have to underrate ourselves at all. We have to work hard, we have to rise, we have to fight hard, we have to fight for it, keep fighting, keep pushing until we have a breakthrough. There was a time in history when there was a very, uh, Israel was in great servitude and suffering and God needed a redeemer, someone to redeem Israel from his suffering and servitude. And he looked across the whole universe or the entire community of Israel and he saw a wonderful gentleman by name Gideon. So the Lord came to him with the good news and with assurance that he's the one that was going to deliver Israel from his captivity. But he lacked the self-confidence. He lacked the self-esteem that he could change things. He could cause things happen. And that is how most people in this community are. We don't have confidence in ourselves. We don't even believe we can wrestle the elite and take power out of their hands. We think we are very feeble enough and they will rise one day, stumble on us and we will all perish. It's not possible because there is some uniqueness and something that the Lord has invested in you that is more powerful enough to change the world. And we will be taking our reference from the book of Judges as you look at it from the chapter of 6 from the verse of 11. Judges chapter 6 from the verse 11. Now, the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terrible tree, which was in Ophrah, which belongs to Joas the Abyssalite, while his son Gideon was threshing wheat in the winepress in order to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. And Gideon said to him, Oh, my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why has then has all this happened to us? And where are all his miracles, which our fathers told us about, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and have delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours. Go in this might of yours. And that is a very striking statement that we have to all understand. And you shall save Israel from the hands of the Midianites. Has I not sent you? Go in the might of yours. And you shall save Israel from the hands of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? You see, this is a very striking statement that the Lord said to Gideon while he never while he never had any faith and confidence in himself you see God has invested in you a unique power the power to do the power to change the power to rise 
the power to say no to whatever condition that you have been destined to be in there. No one is forcing you to be where you are. You are responsible yourself. When you rise up in prayer and say, I am tired of where I am, and therefore it is high time I have to break through from this bondage, from this ancestral bondage that I have been destined to be in for years. If you rise and fight indeed, the Lord will deliver you out of it. And we got the power. When individuals put our force and strength together, no elite can withstand us. No elite can withstand us. Yes, because when the masses speak, every authority listed. You have the power to change the world. And that is why we have to use the tools that the admin has put in place. The tools that he has given us. We have to take full advantage of the tools and begin to work with it. Study the system. Know the system. Teach the system. Pray into the system. And as you do that day in and day out, there is going to be a massive explosion. And when there is explosion of greatness, it starts from you. When there is explosion of riches, it starts from you before it will move into the world. And that is why you have to position yourself very well and believe in yourself. You see, people look at the quantum of what they have in their wallet and they say, when is it possible? I remember once I opened the wallet for a friend of mine and when we have gone through the process and admin dropped the 250 kringles and we change it into, you know, the, we change the value, or yes, in, into dollars and he saw 1,200 and something dollars. He said, come on, you people are kidding me. Is this possible? And we say, yes, it's possible. When we all say, yes, it's possible, it's going to be possible. When you say yes, and I say yes, and everybody say yes, 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 it's going to be possible. And the possibility begins when you rise up to work, when you acknowledge the greatness in you, and you begin to explore, begin to rise, begin to fight, begin to talk more, 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 more to people about it. That is where we'll begin to unleash the potential that is in us. And when our potentials are being released, the world cannot withstand us. You see, Gideon in himself thought he was very weak to battle the Midianite. But in the eyes of the Lord, the Lord saw a giant in him when he was in feebleness. How do you see yourself to be? Do you see yourself to be indeed a champion? Do you see yourself to be a billionaire? Do you see yourself to be a world changer and a revivalist? Or you see yourself to be a poor man, an African, destined to poverty, and illiterate, I've not been to school, I'm not even, I couldn't even complete my high school, blah, blah. Is that why you see yourself? If you die in the state in which you are, you have your, got yourself to be blamed. Don't blame anyone, because you have gotten the best resource ever, which we could tap to use to transform our life from servitude into ruling power and authority. And therefore, you don't have to undermine the powers and the tools that we have in our hands. We have the tools to change the world. And we have to take advantage of them. We have to utilize them. As I told you, at least 30 minutes every day in your prayer is enough to change the world. 30 minutes prayer every day is enough to put things across and then make things better. And that is why we all have to team up and we all have to say we are fed up and we all have to say we are not okay with the situation that we are in we all have to fight and we all have to rise and see the giant in us and begin to put things in order. Speak to people as much as you can. You'll be shocked. The gurus that the Lord can bring, use you to bring them into the kingdom. There are great people out there that who could come in through you irrespective of who you are. You see, people are observing whilst others are enjoying bounty every day, every week. Others enjoy bounty and you see yourself, you can enjoy the bounty. It got to the time that you're even jealous of those enjoying the bounty. They are enjoying the bounties because they have re realized the power and authority in them. They have caused the world to hear their voice, the authority of their voice. And the moment you make the world to hear your voice, then you will begin to take your rightful position. You are also destined. You are also part of the bounty. You can also have big bounties. Don't think you are out. When you begin to see yourself, you are out, then you are out forever. But when you see yourself that, no, it will be my turn next month. And you begin to work it out today. By next month, it will be your turn. 
It takes hard work, tenacity, and believing in who you are. And that is why today we are bringing this bulletin across the globe that as you listen, tip up and rise and pray and release or unleash the potentials that are in you. Begin to let people see the giant in you than the fableness with, uh, without. There is power in you than what you see outside. And when you are able to believe and begin to act, begin to push hard, begin to pray, very soon you are going to be recognized across the globe. Yes, the whole world will recognize you because you are going to be among the leading people that are going to drive the affairs of the universe. God bless you and thank you for your precious time. And I believe today as we have just listened, we are going to pray to God that, oh Lord, help me to realize who I am. Help me to see the giant in me than the feebleness without. And as you do that prayer and begin to push yourself forward, you are going to take a nice position in this community and we will never leave you behind. Thank you and God bless you. Stay blessed till we meet again.